Hey guys, so as you've seen from my latest videos, I finished with my chemo treatment and part of the protocol once you finish your treatment is that you have to get a PET scan done and that is what I'm doing tomorrow and I wanted to take you guys with me through the whole process because when I had my first PET scan done, I was terrified of it, I did not know what was happening and like if any of you guys, I hope you don't, but if any of you guys have to get a PET scan done, I really hope that you find this video helpful. I started the vlog today because I had sort of begin the process today because I have to drink a contrast like to prepare for tomorrow. Today I want to explain to you guys what is going to happen and the main question here is what the heck is a PET scan? Because I don't know if you guys know what it is, so I'm just going to explain it. PET scan stands for Positron Emission Tomography. And that may still not make sense to you guys because when I heard it, I still had no idea what it meant. So basically, a PET scan is a imaging study or technique to see the metabolic process of the cells in your body. That's basically it. They put you into a machine that you lie there. And they it moves you to take 3D pictures of your body. In preparation for the PET scan, you have to do sort of an Atkins diet two days prior to the test. So you can't eat carbs at all. And that is what kills me of this like test. Don't be worried if you have to do it. You only have to pass the two days without eating carbs. The day right before you, be you do the PET scan, you have to drink a contrast. In my like I have literally tried every single flavor that they have to offer with, at the place where I go the vanilla one I pr like for me I promise you it's the best one yeah that's my explanation for the pet scan sort of tomorrow I'm gonna show you the whole process how it is right now I'm going to drink my contrast and prepare my backpack for what I'm going to take there I'm gonna show you guys what I packed there and yeah so I got my contrast here it's the creamy vanilla smoothie ready cat 2 it's a barium sulfate oral suspension I just finished drinking my contrast thingy now I'm going to prepare my bag for tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys what I bring in it study a little bit and then go to sleep early because I have to wake up tomorrow like at 5 I like get 5 a.m. because my appointment at the pet scan place is at 6 30 but I have to get there by 6 so I'll see you guys when I finish packing my bag. Okay, so I gathered everything that I'm going to pack on my bag. And I'm now going to show you guys. Okay, so the first thing is this folder. Full of homework and papers that I have to do for school. Then I brought my iPad, my headphones my headphones and a chapstick because that place gets really cold and just us in the hospital like if they, my lips get chapped a uh, pair of socks it's just in case my feet get really cold these fuzzy socks will do and last thing is a water bottle and that's it that's what I'm basically taking I might also take like a blanket or something just in case I get cold but that I'll have in my hands since I don't think it fits in my backpack so yeah that's about it so right now it's 5.24 I'm gonna study for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to sleep see you guys tomorrow bye
Let's get ready. <laughs> Kids toothpaste. Toothpaste. I actually have to use kids. I can't speak. It's too early. Too early for this. Um, <laughs> I actually gotta use kids toothpaste because regular toothpaste just like irritates my mouth because of the chemo. <laughs> Okay, so it's basically it's five five twenty and um yesterday I called at the place where I'm getting the PET scan done and asked if I could drink water before the test and they said that I could drink as much water as I could because they have to put on an IV and so like if you're hydrated they can find your like veins faster. But yeah, I'm gonna chug this whole bottle of water. I'm gonna try like to at least like two of these before that like before we get there so that um that I'm hydrated enough and that doesn't hurt while they put on the IV. Okay, so after this I'll probably get ready and if I have time I'll study or edit for a little bit before we go and I'll see you when I'm about to leave. Bye. Okay, so I don't know if you can see because it's really dark, but this is the outfit. The top is from Brandy Melville and the leggings are from Airy and just my normal checkered pants. Bye. Okay, so we arrived here and now we're waiting for like for them like to take me into the little room so that they can put on the IV thingy and measure the like the sugar levels in my blood and after that they put me into the little room until they put the radioactive tracers through the IV. I'll see you when they start putting that in. I've literally been waiting here like for an hour and I'm so freaking hungry. I can't like ugh. I've been it's already 7:30 and they haven't started with like with anything. They haven't getting like my samples and put on my IV and I'm starving. And it looks like I'm going to be here like for another like three hours so I'll keep you posted Just put on the IV and the radioactive tracers onto my veins. Um, I'm gonna stop vlogging because I'm not supposed to speak after they put on the radioactive tracers. So I'll see you guys when I finish. Out of there it's 10 30 and I was there from 6 30 to 10 30 I was four hours there um, I finished I wasn't able to film like when I was in the in the machine thingy <laughs> so I'm sorry but 
and then like when I was like resting I was basically sleeping and I watched a little bit of a movie I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week bye they put you in a machine 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 they put see you guys okay I'm not no, yo te quedé súper bien. Súper bien, súper bien.